What's up, everybody? It's your boy Aaron Spivey Sorrells, and I'm outside flying my drone because I want to talk to you about the new firmware updates that they gave the Maverick 3 series. The first update I want to talk to you about is the Viewer Assist. Vision Assist, you will find it at the bottom left corner of your controller. Now, what you're going to do is click it, and when you click it, you will see a black and white uh, uh, camera in the back of your drone. It shows in black and white, but you know, it's pretty cool. You can see what's going on. Uh, you see the, the, the right propeller, and then you see the left propeller, and then you can see the top. It gives you those four arrows of, of vision for you to see what's going on in the back of your drone. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's shown in black and white, but I really like it. I think it's pretty awesome that they have it on the drone now. So where the maps will be located is where viewer assist will be able to be found. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is frame guides. They added that too. So what we're going to do, we're going to click those three buttons in the corner. Uh, we're going to go to camera and then we're going to scroll down. There it is, frame guides right there. We're going to click on frame guides. And it gives us a lot of different choices of aspects ratio on how we want to frame. Now, the most popular thing that's going on right now is vertical framing for your like Instagram, TikToks. Uh, let's see how that looks. And as you can see, what it does is blacken the corners of the controller and of your drone in the video. So right directly in the middle, you will see uh, how we can frame it up for like TikToks and Instagram reels and stuff like that. The one thing about this is that it will show you how to frame it, but it does not export in the frame that you're using on your controller or in your drone. But it would help you frame it so you have to do it yourself. You have to do all the crops yourself in your editing system. Now the next firmware update I think is really cool is the AR, the augmented reality. Uh, press down the return to home. Now the cool thing about augmented reality, the AR, it will show a green pathway on your controller on how the drone would get home. Now the cool thing about that, it will show you if the in the pathway if the pathway is blocked by trees or some type of object uh, that you know the drone may not see. You can use your own controller to get out of the way, but majority of the time these sensors will do a great job to maneuvering your drone out of the way. I love that part. The next cool firmware update that we have in the Mary 3 series is that the drone will provide a shadow on where it's landing and it's very precise. Let's just check it out in the controller. Now another feature that to me I think is very dangerous is uh, the ability to turn off the downward sensor. So what you want to do is go to your uh, controller, go to the advanced set safety settings, I need to get my words right, advanced safety settings, and on the Mavic Classic I believe it's vision positioning and obstacle sensing, sensing, sensing. You can turn those off and what that will give you the ability is to fly as low as possible to the ground or fly as close to an object without turning off or without landing completely to the ground. Because you know when you push your drone to the ground, when you go straight to the ground, it would turn off but uh, at a certain limit. But with these sensors off, you can go as low as possible without landing or turning off. But for me, safety first. I'm not removing that off my drone. These drones are very expensive and I don't need to be flying that low. I, flow, I will fly as low as the sensor will allow me to do to protect my investment. You know, I don't want to rely on DJI care or whatever it is. I want to keep my drone safe. Now, as you can see, my drone is right there. To be honest, that is safe enough for me to fly as low as possible. I do not need to remove the sensor. I love my drone and those things are very expensive. So I'm gonna keep the sensor on, but you now have the ability to remove the downward sensor so you can fly as low as possible. But if you see that, that's low enough. 